This is currently my Raspberry Pi setup. I brought the headers out to the breadboard, especially these two wires right here, which is um, SCA and STA, which uh, basically is the I squared C bus. I connected the I squared C bus to an IO extender, uh, this MCP23017 chip actually provides 16-bit uh, um, configurable input and output but I've only used the 8 bits for output uh, here to the, connected to the LEDs to ground which are basically the, just uh, current limiting resistors okay the other input that I was using was pin number 23 the GPIO pin uh, this is the one right here I'm not sure if you can see that clearly that's pin number 23 connected to the output of our Schmidt trigger which uh, provides us with uh, the bounced input coming from a push button here so whenever I press this whenever I press this button it will provide an interrupt source to a Raspberry Pi and our interrupt service routine will basically just increment a value which will then be outputted into the I squared C bus and be displayed in our LEDs right here. So the first thing that we're going to do is to load our driver by a disk command. And once our driver is loaded, our interrupt service routine should be able to function. So when I press this button right here you'll see that um, the incremented value coming from 0 to 1 is being output onto our LCD sorry not LCD but our LED uh, when I press the button again it increments to 2 and 3 and so on 4 and so on so similarly this driver also provides a sysfs um, attribute 